our, our definition of competition is, and this has come to us over uh, a long study because we want to make sure that it was really represented what we're all about. Competition is striving, good job, for excellence. Striving for excellence. And so, so often we think of com competition as being, you know, beating somebody, winning. Just like all the, the thoughts that came out of you. And sometimes you like to rub it in because you're beating somebody and it means something to you. You want to make them feel that you beat them even. Uh, to us, that does not even apply. We don't compete to win. I know that's going to sound crazy to you, but we don't compete to win. We compete to see how good we can be, how far we can take it, and how, how uh, efficient and, 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 and the demonstration of our excellence is, is, is there because of the way we battle. So the, the, the level of, uh, excuse me, the, the, the term for us is strive, and, and I'm hoping that as we go through the night, this keeps coming back and, and, and uh, makes sense to you as, as we go forward. Um, it's the central theme in our program, so we're guided. The, the guys that I'm talking about, the players, the, the administrative offices, the, uh, the coaches, everybody that's involved with us is, uh, understands that we're, in, uh, uh, we're either competing or not. We have no choice. This is a constant. This is a mentality. We're in relentless pursuit of finding a competitive edge in everything we're doing forever. Think about what that means. Think if you're committed to what that thought is. Relentless pursuit of finding a competitive edge in everything I'm doing, okay? Uh, we want to do things better than it's ever been done before in everything we're doing. So when you come and see what we're all about, you're going to see all we do is compete because we're striving to find a better way, to be a little bit more in tune with what's necessary, what I need to get done. Uh, it's it's a, a framework that doesn't let you sleep real well sometimes because it drives you so much. When you really always run, and the thought of either competing or not, I mean, that means if you're not on it, you're, you're off. That's a mentality, that's a mindset. And um, it's, it's something that has been really, really fun for us. And I think, the reason I bring it up and start with this again, is because I think this is the inspiration, this thought, this, this in action uh, 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 philosophy and approach is what inspired Dave Belasco and maybe in, inspired Bill McMorrow, uh, maybe in, in inspired uh, Dean Jim about what this <coughs> could become. There's a bunch of other stuff that goes along in this wonderful curriculum that, that has been designed now that, that gives us a chance in this, just the curriculum for this class and then the classes that will follow and that hopefully in the future will uh, complement the, the work in this, this gateway class. And I think that uh, if, if, we, if you understand that, that it is the inspiration, then you know why I'm going to make such a big deal about it tonight, because I'm going to try to help you. I'm going to try to help you understand what it is to be a competitor and try to take you a little bit deeper, a little bit further into what that mentality would be and see if that doesn't find a way to uh, apply itself to, in, in your life. So I am, I am, can you tell I'm fired up? <laughs> you know why? Because I'm competing. I want, to, I want this to be a good night for you guys. I want you to have fun with it. I want you to learn. I want you to maybe see things a little different. That's why we change seats. Let's see if from a new perspective, maybe we can find something in here that will make a difference as you move forward. Because you guys got huge lives coming up. Huge opportunities coming up. Huge challenges and, and, and hurdles and issues and all kinds of stuff. How are you going to go about dealing with them? How are you going to take it on when the time comes? We'll talk about how we're going to battle our way through it. Over the years, this was really clear to me that it was competition. And, and uh, that, that comes because I figured out a few years back, quite a few years now, that my personal philosophy that you guys were all working on, I had 50 words and it was 40 words and it was 30 words and I worked it on down. You know what it is to me right now? Always compete. That's all mine is. And I'm not saying that's anything good. It just happens to represent me because I'm a competitor. That's all I've ever done. It's all I've ever been about. I didn't know it. I didn't understand that until I went back through this process, like you guys are going through, trying to figure out what words represent who you are and what you're all about. Always compete. I mean, that's it. That's it. I got no other way. I'm competing to be a great coach. I'm competing to be a, a great father. I'm competing to be a great uh, uh, husband. I'm competing to be a great friend to my friends, a great son uh, to my mom and dad when they're around. And that, that's all I've ever known. So I, it, it helped me understand. So I've got a real easy one. You guys are right. I know you're going all those words. You're trying to figure out how it's going to fit together. I hope you're working on it because this is huge. This is a huge opportunity for you to take a step forward in who you are and what you're all about. And so uh, always compete. I got, I got the easy way out, I guess, because I'm a competitor and all that. So, so you know where that's coming from. Uh, what it has taken a new shape, though, over the years. And what our program and, and what our interaction is with everybody we deal with is really helping people find their best. 
helping people figure out how they can figure out how to be the best they can possibly be. What a, what a noble pursuit, I think. I think it's awesome that we are trying to figure out how can we best help you guys find your way to find your best so that you can maximize your opportunity to do what you want, whatever you want to do. You know, we've been told a long time uh, through our lives, you can do whatever you want to. You better freaking compete if you want to get that done. It won't happen otherwise. You got to learn to battle, figure it out. So uh, that's where this starts. Okay, we're starting with competition. Now, uh, in, in our efforts, and I'm going to share this with you because I want you to kind of picture, because some of you guys are going to be bosses, some of you are going to own your own business. You're certainly going to have families. You're certainly going to have clubs and groups that you hang with. We've created a culture based on this thought of how, to, uh, how we can work to help people be their best. It's a commitment that we have made through the conviction of understanding that if we help every individual find their very best, can you imagine how powerful that is in the, in the, uh, the demonstration of what that group of people can, can, uh, can create and they can develop? It's enormous because so often people achieve less than where they, they're capable of. It's, this is really hard. It's a huge challenge. It never goes away. It never ends. It's a constant through the mentality that we're going to find a way to help people find their best. And that's, uh, that's, that's what creates the environment that we work in. Think if you're in a workplace and you guys are, there's a lot of seniors in here, right? Raise hands for seniors. Let me see how many seniors we got. Okay, uh, you're, gonna, you're gonna find jobs. You're gonna go down the road. You're gonna figure out where you're gonna go next. And you're gonna be, find yourself in the midst of an environment workplace, whatever it is, whatever the setting is, whatever it is, I don't know what it's going to be. You may work at the Dodgers, you may work downtown, whatever. You don't know where you're going to be. But that environment is that which feeds the people in the, in the workplace to perform at some level. It's going to get you some way. It's going to affect you to the good. It's going to affect you to the bad. It's going to hold you back. It's going to frustrate you. It's going to live your, it's going to enlighten your life. It's going to elevate you to, to levels that you never thought you could. Most likely, it's going to be way down here somewhere, though, <laughs> unfortunately. But you can create an environment just around competing because you're helping people figure out how to strive to find their best. If you're in that workplace and you feel the people around you and they care for you in that manner, can you imagine how much better it is to come to work that next day and the next day? And people are looking to figure out what we do in our relationship. It's a relationship-based mentality. We're trying to figure out how good you can be how far you could go, how much, how much unique quality you have inside of you. And then as, as we work to figure that out, we have to visit with you, we gotta watch you, we gotta observe all you in all different situations, we gotta work with you, we gotta deal with the, the, what you wanna become. Can you imagine how, how, how productive an environment that is? I'm telling you, that's what we've created. Let me show you something, you, you have me a little, uh, little video? Let me just show you an example of uh, what it's like in our meeting rooms just so that you can see, because you can never imagine in a workplace that this happens. We have a little thing, we got a clock on the side of the, of the stage in our room, and uh, we have a 30 second clock, and there's a hoop in the room. And so uh, on days whenever we choose to, we have little competitions, just like we just did, same thing. And, and we've got, we're shooting hoops, you get 30 seconds, see how many shots you can make. Well, we also bring in hot shot players every now and then. Anybody ever heard of Isaiah Thomas? <laughs> <laughs> Isaiah Thomas, there he is right there. A uh, local kid uh, happened to be in the area, and uh, the most anybody ever made in, ten, in those 30 seconds is nine shots. A uh, little Tyler Lockett, a little fantastic football player that you might have heard of from us. Well, uh, Isaiah came in. This is what he did. Check this out. Just competition Wednesday there that's all it was that's all it was and it happened but my, my point in showing it that to you is that where where do you find stuff like that happening in the work environment yeah it's gonna be really you're gonna be hard-pressed to figure it out but it's there to be had you can have that kind of involvement we messed around with it in here didn't we we just fooled around with it a little bit had a little game we played here a little game we played over here made a little competition of it and things go places and things happen and people show themselves and we learn about stuff 
that you might not learn otherwise just because you're competing. Just because you're competing. Now, the, one of the things, it, this isn't just for fun. We don't do it just to have a good time and make it a good day. I'm constantly in search of finding the uniqueness. Constantly trying to figure out what makes you special. Trying to figure out where do you separate and what is it about you that makes you you? So that we can bring that out and, and find a place to make that work. Have you ever heard of Richard Sherman? Okay, yeah? Okay, you heard of Richard Sherman? You heard of Marshawn Lynch? You heard of him? You know, you heard of Russell Wilson? Matter of fact, he's working out here during the day in case you want to check him out sometime. <laughs> Those kinds of huge personalities have a place with us because we celebrate their uniqueness. Yeah, they screw up sometimes. Yeah, they go too far sometimes. We gotta work them back into the, into the mentality of being part of the team and all. Yeah, we do all that. But if we didn't reach to that special quality, that uniqueness that they may have, we may never find the top that they have to offer. We're talking about its peak performance. Somebody mentioned over earlier about this class and this whole mentality. If you don't put people in the situation where they are most comfortable, where they can feel themselves in, in pure connection with the activity they're doing, there's a good chance they're, gonna, they're only going to elevate so far. And they're going to miss their chance to get to the top of what they have to offer. And if you create a whole environment like that, okay, now, the point of this is I want you to understand that you don't, this isn't just a pursuit for an individual person. This is a pursuit for a lot of people. In a big room like this, we would be freaking rocking by the time this class was over. I promise you we would, because we would have been through so much and so many, if we're just, just going competition on, on Tuesday nights at six o'clock for two hours, uh, however many times, 13 times, whatever times you meet, I'm, I'm telling you, you, you would see something happen that would transform the way you look at things, the way you feel things, the way you see things, and you would never be the same for it. And that's what you're, you're watching a club that played here. Remember we played at USC here? We, it was a few years back. I don't know if you guys remember that. You guys were in eighth grade or something. Uh, uh, and then we took the exact same principle and the exact same mentality and went to Seattle to see if professional athletes could take to the kinds of care that it takes to have a relationship-based environment for them to flourish in. Even with all of the good that, that comes out of that, it's still hard to win them all. I'm telling you, it's still, and we can't, every now and then we don't quite get it done, and then once in a while we do. But in that environment, some of the most marvelous things occur.